All right, this is Susan Leventero. Hello. <laughs> I've been busy with a kitten, so, um, but I, I could uh, do a few readings here today. I'm going to do, um, I'll do earth signs. Okay, I'm going to do earth signs pop up reading. Let's see what's coming in. Let's see. I'm going to start with Taurus. Taurus. Happy December, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see. Let me move these out of the way so I can get a real good spin on it. Let's see. Taurus. Ooh, something flew out the back. It's a date. Sharks. Meet at a pool. Meet at a pool, half, what? <laughs> oh, meet at a pool hall, okay, and pretend you are a rival pool hustler from different parts of the town. Make bets about what sexy things you'll both have to do after the games are over. Okay, so for some of you, this is just a date, okay? Um, and this is uh, playing pool, okay? And for some of you, this is like um, a, a pool hall tournament where you have a partner and you're traveling all around, okay? Now, I feel like for some of you, this could be with a best friend. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is some old friend is saying hello, okay? All right. So, okay, and the other thing I'm getting with this, Sharks, is, um, you know those toys that have, like, a kitten and a shark ta back or a tail? What is that? Okay. So children and having to deal with um, the holidays and stuff. Okay. So trying to stay positive. I like that. Okay. And okay. So some there's some aspects that you may feel like, Taurus, that are hidden. Okay. With that tail. But if it's that Pisces energy uh, that's in your chart, then that would be like... Uh, keep on persevering. You don't want to, um, you want to keep taking action steps towards your dreams and goals and they will, uh, manifest as soon as, oh, there's a lot of retrogrades here. Okay. So, uh, some of those retrogrades, it could be like, you feel like you're working and working and no nothing's showing for it, but it will show itself. Okay. And also if you have little children, you want to encourage them too. Okay. So, um, okay, there's that. But someone is going on a date, I have to say. All right, so now it could be just a fun little pub. And uh, if it's in Canada, it might be like going to some sort of pub and having like, uh, what is that, Canadian bacon or something for breakfast? Okay, at a pub. Okay, that might be England. Okay, all right. When I said that, all these popped out. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let me move these down. See what we got here. Okay. Volcano. Okay. So I feel like that's emotions erupting. But there's love here. An opportunity for a past boo. Uh, past boo or um, past boo. Now you could feel like that they... Um, I don't like using that phrase, but ghosted you. Like you, you felt like they weren't reliable. Okay. Is the word I want to say. And then, uh, if that challenged your stability, uh, that could have been some, uh, disagreements there. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So there's that. And so for some of you, there's an opportunity, if you had an eruption with a love or a lover, that it can 
come back together. But this time with a better understanding of what you want in relationship. All right. Now what's this? Woo! Okay. Now for some of you, that's not the pool thing traveling around. Some of you, this is actually, I'm getting like a gambling, um, what is that? A gambling hall. So could be like, you know how... Um, on cruises, they have those um, slots and things like that. I'm getting that, and I'm getting... Um, uh, some of you might be interested in a Pisces. That's what I'm getting, and they might even have kids. Now, this volcano in that case, now for some of you... Now, let's talk about what erupted. Okay, so um, Iceland. It could be someone from Iceland. That's a Pisces. Ooh. Okay, so is Bjork a Pisces? Okay, it might be someone who, I don't know. What I'm getting is someone who likes Bjork music. Okay, now, it could be someone from the islands or going to visit an island somewhere. It doesn't have to be Hawaii, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, now what's this? Okay, so for some of you, you might feel like three is a crowd. Okay. Some of you, this is hanging out with sisters in December. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Woo, three. Okay, so beginning of a perfect pattern. Okay, so let's say I'm getting here. If you kind of broke away from some people or someone, then what that's showing me is that um, keep persevering, uh, have discipline to move through move through um yeah keep have a strategy plan write down your goals and work towards them okay in that way you would feel more empowered okay now for some of you this is a capricorn that you're working it out with and you have kids or um, you might be coming together over the holidays with uh, their sister or family. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But I feel like what you would like is, is to um, have one-on-one -on -one with them. Okay. But it might feel more comfortable if there's more people around. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now for some of you, um, Some of you, you had a Leo that you weren't, um, didn't work out so great. Okay, so, um, what about the Leo? Let's get something on that. What about the Leo for Taurus? All right. Well, I might only be able to do one here. <laughs> what about Leo uh, for Taurus? Okay. Woo! Island times and wellness. Okay. Palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Okay, now for some of you, this is saying that um, over time, you may be able to forgive someone, whether it's a Leo or anyone that had to do with, it doesn't have to be a Leo. It could be someone who is uh, seen as uh, something, someone special in the public eye even okay it could be someone with a healthy self-esteem okay and um if that's the case then over time it could um it could have been a spiritual connection with this palm tree and then it turned out funky okay now um so there's been no communication perhaps with this uh and that is Mercury. Okay, so where is Mercury? Hmm. Sagittarius? Okay. Whether you're with, this is saying, whether you're with that person or not, you're moving towards stability, security, um, growth, and uh, the key is flexibility and endurance. Okay. Oh, endurance is on that card. That's what I was getting. Okay. Now, if it's a Cancerian that you were trying to work it out with. Mm. 
Okay. Not showing true feelings. They probably were hiding their feelings. Okay. They have a personality that is, they're showing me like before them. So a personality that is before them or precedes them. Maybe that's the word. Okay. So their personality, they're perceived by the public as a certain kind of uh, person. Okay. So maybe they're trying to live up to those expectations. Okay. And is fearful of uh, showing their true side. Okay. Something like that. What is this? Hand Ace of Spades. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. And gambling. Oh my gosh. I got that as traveling around. Okay. So for the travel thing, take a chance. Okay, it might be a cruise or a trip. All right, so strategic. So what is that? Oh, okay, so as a tarot, it would be like the Seven of Swords, maybe. Okay, feeling like you sometimes didn't trust that one. Okay. Now, you could have felt like they had some sort of obsession on the side that they were hiding, and you found out something. Okay, so healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I don't feel like it's toxic. I feel like what happened was you were coming into yourself. It's like a coming of age feeling, like you woke up to yourself and uh, you might have put up with a lot, Taurus. Okay, and you are ready to um, work on yourself, on your glow up. Okay, and so if you felt like you weren't making healthy choices with that one, um, now you're moving in a more positive direction where there's love, right? And you found love in yourself again, life in yourself again, self-love, giving yourself that time you so deeply needed. Okay, and uh, this is you feeling happier because of it. Okay, now. So some of you, that's the pause before coming back together. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, and getting together. Sometimes when people separate, it's because they're ready for the next phase of their life with someone else. It doesn't necessarily um, end up with the past person. However, if you can come together and fully forgive and... Uh, grow from the experience then the relationship can be so much richer right but there has to be a willingness to on both sides okay that's what I'm getting okay all right now what could have been irritating for some of you is that you're mirroring each other okay and there could have been uh and not trusting a little bit on both sides. And that was the mirror on both sides. Oh. There could have been, okay, this is for someone. There could have been a little bit of fear there, I want to say, with this mirror of losing you. And so they wanted to rush to um, marry you or give you a commitment when they weren't ready to fully disclose all aspects of them. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And you know what they're showing me here is like a three-way mirror. Like, you know how they have two sides and you can fold it in? So I feel like... Um, so what will happen is they'll keep going through the same cycle until they're willing to open up uh, and really uh, communicate what it is they want. Okay. It could have felt confusing to you because they weren't so sure. Okay. Now, there's a new person coming in. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming and fun flirting want a date so that's how hey you ended up you started out with date card right okay so i feel like that's a hint taurus 
Okay, reminiscing. Okay, now, when you're in date mode, the suggestion is not to keep going back and looking at old pictures. Okay. Now, these could be images in your mind that you keep rehashing. So it says learn from the past and make memories, but the suggestion here is make new memories. Okay. Now, I feel like the string here, right, if we're talking about string theory, <laughs> um, I feel like there is that tug or a pull to your heart there from the past person for someone. But I feel like as you spend more time dating and exploring different aspects of what it is you want in a partnership, I feel like uh, you would have be able to come to a conclusion quicker. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was getting with the camera. Okay, now it's saying it in this card. But, you know, it's like, you know how cassette tapes went out, right? And then all of a sudden there was a resurgence of cassette tapes and mixtapes and even Lil Wayne did like some raps on some cassette tapes, right? And I actually missed the cassette tape. I had so much fun with those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So and they're giving me that uh, Asian comedian who uh, has the skit where she was talking about using a cassette tape recording and then she was like recording her favorite song and then her mom was like yelling in the background. <laughs> okay, so for some of you, it's like you spend so much time mothering, you might have a little bit mothered your partner when really what they wanted was... Um, you know, the, the sexy uh, goddess that they met in the beginning. Well, um, well, with all the responsibilities of mothering and cleaning and this and that, right, um, you could end up looking like M Mommy Dearest. But um, I feel like if you went that far, <laughs> um, you know, uh, Joan uh, Crawford was a beautiful person. Okay. And... Um, on the outside. So for some younger Torians, maybe the focus was on outside looks. And um, so now you want to, and material stuff, and now you want to really uh, bring it home in the heart. Okay. Now for older Torians, I feel like you, um, you want people to see your soul. Woo! Okay. There's the transformation. That could have been the Scorpio energy. Now, Scorpio. Nest phase. Okay, that's interesting because I saw next phase and it says nest phase. Okay, so I feel like healing the inner child and growth. Okay. I feel like for some of you, that's the Capricorn and that's that Pluto energy, and they're trying to, um, I feel like for you, it's more like finding your inner child again and connecting with that. And for the other person, if they're a Cancer or a Capricorn, uh, it's like they're trying to make peace with their inner child. Okay, something like that. Yeah, it's the Pluto energy ascending. So they're trying to overcome obstacles and they're working on expansion at, in their career and a new looking forward to a new year but they're preparing for a union with you this past person cancer or capricorn in some capacity here's a v for victory they want victory with you now boat now for some of you they have a Rising or moon water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And um, they've been emotional. And they're trying to make peace within their mind. So 
that could have felt like indecision to you, like they weren't really that into you when it was just about them and their stuff. All right. That could be any water sign. Okay. But they still hold passion for you. And I feel like if you do come together, it's going to be on an equal, I got equal offering. So it's like an equal, even, uh, you won't feel like you're give, doing all the giving. Okay, and you're having fun and you're moving in passion. Woo! All right, here's the abundance card. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Okay, so let's see what we get from here. All right, three cards. Woo! Freedom. Some of you are going to just be solo. Okay. Healthy space and room to breathe. Okay. Now, responsibilities, romance, interrupted duties come first. Okay, so you could have felt like your partner's priorities, uh, career came first. Okay, but, um, and I feel like that's the learning experience heart, body, mind, and soul. That's the learning experience for both of you, that you two really do mean a lot to each other, whether you stay together or stay free from each other in, um, you know, committed relationship. Okay, so pay attention to the signs and clues. I feel like you're getting them all day long. Now, what is this? Life partner. Woo! That's like music to uh, Tarian's ears. <laughs> Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. Okay, so. All right, forgiveness. Okay. Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. Okay. All right, so I got Olivia Newton-John here with this card when I flipped it. Let's get physical. Okay, and reaching out. Expect a call or a text from your person of interest. I'll leave you with that. 